It's amazing how, how light this battery is, you guys. I'm like, I'm gonna start the scene here. Very lightweight, no acid to deal with you guys, and it has a restart, jump start option. This is the battery for you. So finally, I got my lithium battery for the GTR, you guys. I don't know, I had to wait quite some time for it. Maybe it's some shortage of materials or just because of the pandemic, I, I don't know. It, I waited a long time for it, but it's here, you guys. Um, should I unbox it or should I take out the old battery of the GTR? Yeah, let's, let's go unbox it, you guys. I'm gonna set you guys down here and let's, uh, let's unbox it. There we go, guys. Anti-gravity restart battery. Let's see what's inside the box here. So we're gonna open up the box. There's two little, I don't know, styrofoam things wrapped around. I'm assuming these are the remote controls to activate the restart. Yep, it is so, two of them. Just gonna leave that here, guys, and let's, uh, let's pull this bad boy out of here. Look at that. this way there you go guys and instruction manual all right guys let me just clean this bad boy up a little bit here it's a little dusty let me just uh yeah, let me just wipe it up a little bit so nice you guys is this a, I don't know man it's just something about just when those terminals are like brand new and that copper is like or brass or whatever this stuff is made out of is like mint just mm, so nice you guys all right guys so I decided to go with an OEM style battery I didn't go smaller uh, we do have a smaller size here I'll show you guys after but uh, for the GTR it's a 51 and it's uh and i went with 30 amp i had options of going with a 24 amp which is even lighter than this one but uh because that's a daily well street car which has ac all the other good stuff and nav and all that stuff so you could go with a smaller battery or sorry a lighter battery in a 24 amp hours uh if you guys going to go pretty much straight up racing yeah. All right, guys, before I get into more details about the battery, why I chose this battery, I'm going to go yank out the old one and let's put it side by side so that uh, we can do a better comparison that way. But before we do that, guys, let's, uh, let's check out this fob. Let's see, I, I've seen it done online or on other channels, but let's, uh, let's check it out on ours. So I'm supposed to press this button and the red light here on the start button will uh, light up. <laughs> That's pretty cool, you guys. Here are the two batteries, you guys. They're pretty much identical in size, which they're supposed to be, because this is the OEM size for the um, GTR Group 51R. 51R. 51R and this one is super heavy this one is super light uh, hence the name anti-gravity super light you guys let's look at the uh, cold crank so 475 and this one served me well for at least a year two years two years until we let it sit in storage or I didn't drive it for a couple of weekends and this thing went dead so it was, it was working fine up until I went on holiday and I went back and started up and it was like done deal you guys so I started looking for another battery alternative you guys because it just I, I don't know I was kind of tired of it it's just I was really looking for it to go out for the weekend and yeah it's it was dead so I so I did jump it right I boosted it and it worked for when I started it up, it worked. 
But the only problem was when I went to go park it and we went to go to get a photo shoot. And of course, you're gonna move the car, start, move the car, start. And I couldn't start the car. Even though it was, it was running fine until I turned off the car and it was done deal. So that's when I started looking for something better. And uh, anti-gravity came up and another brand came up too, but we're not gonna mention it in this video, okay? And uh, what got me on it was basically, it doesn't discharge as fast as a standard battery. And the lithium battery was just, yeah, it, apparently it's better lighter and uh, it had a lot of pros on it. The only cons people were saying that it's it's expensive, but we're gonna get into that, why it justifies the, the price tag. 475 cranking amps and it did start my car. The GTR started fine with this battery and uh, served its purpose. Look at this, you guys. 1200, 1200. And that is like unbelievable, you guys. And this one, um, this one says it's 30 amp hours. This one wasn't even near. I can't, I, RC, I can't remember what it was, but this one wasn't like nowhere near the same capacity as this one. So cold crank is basically for you guys that don't really are new to the battery world. Cold crank is to start your car. And the capacity is basically how long or how much this battery can hold an amount of energy. I believe that's what it is. So don't hold me to it, you guys. I, I think that's what it is. It's, I know cold cranks to, start your, to help your car start, help start your car when it's cold. And the amp hours is basically how much capacity this battery can hold or how much energy it can hold. So that you can, you can run like multiple stuff. So for race car applications, you guys, you can go with a smaller amount of amperage or amp hours story so that it can get you down this drag strip shut the car off or around the circuit and that's pretty much it and shut the car off and that's just the bare minimum most lightweight and uh lithium battery is the way to go you guys i'll give you an example boom look at this you guys the atx 30 super light you can hold it with one hand and 880 crank amps this thing, 475, and look at the size, you guys. Look at the size. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna bother picking this one up. Let's move this over here. Look, look, look at that, you guys. And for the guys that wanna just basically get the bare minimum, I'm, I think this is more than bare minimum because this got me around town. I drove everywhere. And I drove down to Calgary and pretty much everywhere with the GTR with that battery and no issues. And Look at this, guys. And I, technically, I can throw this into the GTR and call it a day. Because I really don't drive my car often. And 880 amps. Crank, cold crank amps, hey? Eh? And this one has the battery capacity of 32 amp hours, you guys. 32 amp hours in, in, this, in this little thing. Like, 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 look. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Like. Look at that. Look at how small that thing is. I could be running on this battery. I don't, I don't even know how much it is, you guys, but I'll put the link to anti-gravity and uh, you guys can check out these batteries you guys want and all the specs and features and pricing and availability, you guys. So but that's, that's, oh, that's just bonkers. So if you guys are wondering, of course, Toyota's battery isn't made in Japan. It's actually made in the USA. Anti-gravity is made in China. Not too sure if that's a deal breaker for you guys, but a lot of the, I guess to keep the cost down, a lot of stuff is manufactured or sorry, made in China. Um, maybe just to keep the cost down, but if it's made in the US or somewhere else, maybe it's just more expensive, but yeah. So let's talk about some of the pros, why I chose this lithium battery, you guys. So on a lithium battery, you can discharge up to a hundred percent. Well, they say 100% because there's a, a BMS or a onboard uh, management system, like a circuit board, that basically when the battery gets discharged to close to 100%, it will shut itself off and go into a sleep mode. That's exactly what happens on a uh, anti-gravity battery. It has a BMS uh, battery management system and it won't allow the battery to discharge 
all the way to the bottom where it's basically dead and it won't recover it'll just basically put into a sleep mode and you can wake it up and charge the battery back up on the traditional batteries no go uh, you can only charge discharge to roughly 50 60 percent and that's pretty much it because anything beyond that it's you're killing the battery and it, there's no coming back from it it's basically gone so that's the reason why i chose the anti-gravity lithium battery you guys so another pro you can storage your car with the battery and it'll have a really really slow discharge with the other battery that i had in there you guys basically one or two weekends and that's it and it was just toast and they, they, well, there's no coming back so you guys if your battery ever does go into sleep mode the anti-gravity battery has that onboard restart button or for guys that have the batteries in the back of the trunk and did like a door or door lock uh, shaving or delete and you can't get into the back of the battery to get access to the battery in the trunk they have an answer for it, you guys other brands don't have it anti-gravity does so basically earlier I, sh I showed you just press the button and uh, you can access that or you'll start that restart button and you can start your car pretty pretty neat feature you guys and my other battery no, no. i didn't have that option you guys so that's another reason why i chose the anti-gravity battery so if for some reason you're able to kill that battery or leave that battery go into sleep mode or just manage to kill it you guys there is a warranty i'm just going to go over with you right now and their warranty is actually pretty cool i think it's pretty much a lot better than the actual standard battery because when I claim warranty on that one, I, I only got one year and that's pretty much it. And that's why we're here today, you guys. So the anti-gravity battery in the Group 51R has a five year warranty, guys. And the first three years is a direct replacement. And after that, the last two years uh, is prorated. So yeah, basically anything after that, it's basically they re return it and they'll continue on there. But I believe in the first three years, I think I was told that if your battery is defective or in any way needs to be replaced, the warranty starts from that time on. So another five years, I believe so. But double check that you guys, I'm not 100% sure. This is what I was told. So with this battery, you guys, it was a one year warranty. And basically when I return it within that first year, let's say it's in the six month, I'll have remaining six months, not a whole renewal of the one year warranty, which is, kind of a downer but I think that's in most cases all the batteries on the market are like that so another uh, another pro for anti-gravity battery you guys this one because it's a motorsports battery three years and that's pretty much it I'll put a link to the warranties on these batteries you guys in the description so that you guys can actually check it for yourself and make sure that uh, I'm not incorrect and I'm not giving you guys false information so yeah just go check it out if not anti-gravity uh the website itself has it too just notice you guys if you can see a little bit of a blister on the sides of the battery because this battery is actually pretty pretty much toast you guys it's it's yeah gone gone as cheap as that battery is man that could have cost me a lot of money especially any guys that are like have highly modified engine bays that are like all nice and shaved and painted and everything imagine that acid got all over your engine bay and man that would have been a disaster Saving a few dollars on a lead acid battery instead of going with a lithium battery. The lithium battery is never going to leak on you guys. Maybe it'll explode, but by that time, I don't know, man, you're not going to be able to save your engine bay anyways. But imagine all that acid all over your engine bay. And some of you guys spent so much money on those engine bays. And then, yeah, I don't know, you guys. For me, it just justifies. I wouldn't go with a lead acid battery. It's just, just not worth it, you guys. It's just yeah all right guys so just mentioning that like this i spent i believe roughly about 150 canadian this is about a thousand bucks canadian this will last one year this will last up to five years well five year warranty anyways it's supposed to this one will outlast this one two to three times more and this is just a really cheap battery you guys this is a daily dri driver battery if you guys go into a performance battery they're roughly about 300 bucks and imagine replacing this battery let's say two or three times which you will which you will if you're going to park your car this battery won't last long this one 
it just fires the same just the price wise itself to replace that acid battery several times a performance one let's say opt optima i think optima is like one of those higher end batteries agm or lead acid and i think they're like three four hundred bucks you guys so just replacing two of those already is going to be the same amount as a lithium battery you guys so it kind of just works out itself right the price wise so let's put it this way steel brakes are probably about a third of the price of a carbon ceramic brake but the carbon ceramic brakes will outlast the steel brakes like tenfold you guys like for street use i don't think you'll ever wear out a ceramic brake ever unless you're going on the road course and you're just hammering on that but by the time your steel brakes are just demolished and carbon ceramic brakes will outlast like way longer and it'll outperform a steel brake so that's the same thing with a lead acid and a lithium battery put it that way you guys you pay double the price triple the price but it will outlast double triple so there you go that's how i put it you guys let's let's go and weigh these batteries uh, a lot of other people have done it but i'm gonna do it for myself you guys all right first up first up is the group 51 anti-gravity battery 10 pounds 10 pounds 4 ounces i'm gonna put the camera down because it's always it's quite heavy i can't pick it up with my hand i'm gonna start this up put this sucker over here Twenty-nine pounds. Just for comparison, you guys, I'm gonna put this one up against this one. I'm just gonna start this one up. Zero it out. Five pounds, you guys. So, yeah, double, double, double the weight. Yeah. Five pounds. Five pounds. Very small. Small. Medium size and the big sucker here by the way they do offer a jump start to you guys it's it's pretty compact and it can get you out of a bind I'm not sure if you need this if you have one of these boys but if you have one of these suckers you most likely will need one of these you guys all right you guys so that pretty much concludes this week's vlog so I've chose a battery based on what suits my needs and basically what I thought would be best for my car. And weight distribution, uh, cold cranks, uh, not so much the battery capacity. I think I could have gone with a 20 amp, but that's okay. 30 amps is fine because I know Weekend Warrior car, it does have AC, just car stereo and all that stuff and uh it just uh, having the fact that i can have a reserve tank if the battery does for some reason if i do go on holidays and it drains and it goes into sleep mode at least i can wake up this battery with no issues anti-gravity batteries did a good job uh, putting that in with the restart it just gives you more peace of mind um and the other thing I, I would say like i said earlier if that lead acid battery leaks everywhere and to save a few bucks i end up spending thousands of dollars on fixing the engine bay if that battery acid leaks everywhere and you guys to me it's just not worth it it just you know how much do you really save right um so the the con ends up being uh, justifiable spending um other than that you guys it just yeah in cold weather, there's a lot of rumors or myths that the battery doesn't perform as well, lithium batteries in general, but I'm assuming this battery will perform that battery anytime, and I would put my money on this lithium ion battery all day long. Because if it, if I, having that, I guess, lead acid battery in my daily, and it's been sitting in like 30, 40 below in Canadian weather and starts up no issues, a lithium ion battery, should start 
and yeah i would bank on this battery all day long you guys so do your research i'll put the link in the description you guys and whether you choose anti-gravity anti batteries or any kind of lithium battery you guys for your sports car your baby can't go wrong you guys so hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and if you do don't forget to smash the subscribe button you guys and uh, subscribe to my channel there's going to be a lot more fun stuff and hopefully educational but hope you guys uh, enjoyed it we'll see you guys in next week's vlog see ya Honestly, I'm gonna challenge people like to get their lead acid battery and do this, you guys, ten times. A group, group, group 35. Challenge them, unless there's some like some kind of muscle man. I highly doubt it.